today we go to Dior. Hey guys! Maria Grazia Curie takes time to break down her collection and inspiration. Her muse is Caterina de Medici. Blackpink Jisoo is here, and the Parisian fans show up and I can't hear you. Details. C'est trop bien, c'est au top de ma liste. Pour mes cinq premiers shows que j'ai envie de marcher. Shoes, lace, spectacular set, Jisoo, your flowers, top models. Really going to more like a gothic vibe. I love it. <laughs> I definitely feel like a princess. Jisoo. 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 We're falling into some hidden fold in space. Hello, I'm Luc Prigent and I film fashion fun in Paris. Subscribe to my channel to see some fashion fun in Paris. You'll see backstage action, fashion shows, designers talking, exclusive fashion content. Leave a comment if you will and enjoy mood board. <laughs> This is Dior ready to wear for spring summer 2023. Merci à vous. First, we meet Maria Grazia Curie for fittings in her secret HQ. Can you tell me about the volumes? I, I see some really big volumes on some dresses. Yeah, the, the, the volume is big because the idea is uh, a baroque uh, ball in Le Tuileries. The reference for the show is Caterina de Medici. In the fitting room, shelves are overflowing with accessories, bags, Lady Dior's, book totes, Variations, new fabrics, new prints. All the things that we normally made in the collection, we translate also in the, in the book tooth with this technique that is all embroidered in this very special. And we make this kind of work that reproduce the stitching that was called Medici stitching. And we reproduce it handmade with a loom or some part really special like this raffia that is magnificent too, like the Miss Dior, but reproduce all in a raffia 3D. Uh, the collection is super huge. Uh. <laughs> It's very difficult to show all the pieces. We're in the Tuileries Garden, and who built a castle in the Tuileries? Catherine de Médicis. The spectacular piece de résistance, epic grotto taking center place at D -D 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 Dior, was made by French artist Eva Jospin. Remember, subtitles are available. En fait, avec Maria Grazia, on a le même goût des, des grottes baroques et des jardins italiens. Et elle m'a proposé de travailler sur l'idée d'un projet autour de la grotte, mais de ces, de ces architectures qui imitent le, le réel. C'est la continuation d'un amour et d'une obsession que j'ai dans mon travail. Vous pouvez me montrer les matériaux que vous utilisez Le matériau principal, c'est le carton. Okay, il y a des insertions de papier coloré, il y a des vraies pierres, il y a du liège, il y a des coquillages, il y a des éponges. Il y a du cuivre. J'ai porté le soin sur chaque dé détail de la surface, comme si c'était une œuvre pour un musée. It's incredible. I think it's one of the most beautiful sets that I've ever seen in my life. Like the venue, and like with the dancer, it's all like really, really beautiful. It's going to be like very emotional. Peter Marino, architect of many luxury brands, never misses a Dior show. I like it. I mean, I thought it was called of Cambodia for a moment. <laughs> Everybody's in pitch black except for a circle of light surrounds Jisoo. The Blackpink member is a house ambassador of Dior. Every time she appears, it's a riot, quite a contrast with her delicate aura. Jisoo dares to stand up and walk to greet Bernard Arnault, boss of luxury group LVMH, owner of Dior, Francis Richest Man. Meet Danish model Freya Rothman. Today will be the third fashion show she opens for Dior. You won't see her anywhere else during Fashion Week as she's exclusive with Dior. How does it feel to open a Dior show? It's a big honor. Yeah, I feel very honored every time it happens. And I'm always surprised. I'm like, me? Then I guess. <laughs> And there you go, Freya Rothman opens. Lucia is a Wednesday Adams or maybe a Daenerys Targaryen de Medicis. 
lots of lace and a corset that looks like an aristocratic coat of arms. Greet Island was a new bag, it's called Dior Balloon, inspired by an archive piece of the house and the bags with strong frames of the 1950s. Alida Alessandra asks you with a balloon skirt that she can adjust, un pouf ajustable, aussi sur Promesse Kayumba. I sit next to Lena Mafou. A surprising craft, there's a kind of embroidery called Point de Médicis. To counterbalance darkness, lace is abundant, flowers are in raffia, in its natural color, and in 3D. It's not so present in the history of the ore, but I really love the lace. And for this collection, we did also some special lace like this, that are done in raffia, but are super light. Is that done raffia. by hand? Yes. So the price must be uh, really... Expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Just an oversized trench on Eleonore Guritan. A boyfriend shirt extra large on Silvia Kuta with a coat belt. I love this anomaly slash surprise. This is a laid back Dior Maria Grazia Curie loves to propose in the middle of a quite formal collection. Pour vous et pour Maria Grazia, quelle est la symbolique de la grotte On se remet en fait dans une forme d'architecture archaïque où les formes sont extrêmement libres, il y a beaucoup d'audace possible. Le beau et le laid se mélangent, les frontières un peu s'abattent et je pense que c'est ça qui l'inspire et c'est évidemment ça qui m'inspire aussi énormément. Dior is Miss Dior and lots of flowers, la femme fleur. Maria Grazia Curie has done many white flowers, but this season they seem more classic, traditional, chintzy. C'est très confortable, ça me rappelle un mélange entre un manteau et puis un kimono. Shoes are a case study, an hybrid of history and fashion. Mood board! The short Catherine de Médicis wanted to appear taller in court, so she had platform shoes made for her. Now mix it with the classic 1950s Christian Dior Hill that was designed by the genius shoemaker Roger Vivier. It's a swoosh, they call it virgule in French. Le talon virgule. Combine the two and you'll get this. It's a platform between Dior Vivier and Caterina de Medici. <laughs> Mood board again. The crinolines are inspired by the Catherine de Medicis era. This and domes on buildings in Paris. Another mood board effect, Catherine de Medicis was obsessed by the French astrologer Nostradamus, just as Christian Dior was obsessed by his voyante, his psychic. Both are obsessed by signs, superstitions, cosmic predictions. This gothic coincidence does not fall on deaf ears. Catherine de Medici was known for being a black widow, right? Yes. You like that aspect too? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, she, she used to be in black uh, and all the lady around her with beautiful and colored dress. Uh, is a way also to put her in focus, uh, also that was uh, surrounded from of other women, no? You see zodiac signs on Rachel Marks. Tears on a lion on Melissa Ancela. Crinolines are like tiny bells mini crinoline. A very artificial construction, something unusual for Maria Grazia Curie, who prefers a more casual and wearable silhouette most of the time. Maxi crinolines. Maria Grazia Curie studying clothes that take the attention and therefore give power. Court dresses, strategist dresses, ceremonial artifacts, signals of education and sophistication. But Maria Grazia Curie can't help making them mini, because I guess she wants her queen to still be able to run and escape. Puck Schrover in a precious, time-consuming raffia ensemble. Carla Pereira, all over raffia, like it's linen. This coat on Greta Helen with 3D flowers. They look like a traditional Italian ceremonial tablecloth Maria Grazia Curie owns from her grandmother. Dior now has a very big coat business. Est-ce qu'on voit la Tour Eiffel, vous pensez? Je sais pas, mais on a qu'on la trouve. C'est un peu où est Charlie. Ouais. Instead of an all-over monogram, there's a new labyrinth monogram print, urban and a bit obsolete at the same time. 
Oh, the map uh, is, uh, I found this map inside the archive of Dior, it was a scarce, but I really love uh, the map in general. It's a map of Paris, printed by Christian Dior, and the boutique is the center of it. A map very useful to Italian Maria Grazia Curie, and would have been useful too for Catherine de Medicis at her time. You go around the city and you find the reference inside the city in some way with your imaginary. You tell your personal story about the city. Probably is what I do when I'm in Paris. There is a collection that speaks a lot about this relationship between Italy and France. A lot. Right after finale, tension goes down. Everybody backstage in a good mood again. Applause, applause, applause. Alors pour le coup, j'ai trouvé que c'est une vraie collection de prête à porter parce que je suis prête à tout porter. J'aimerais trouver une situation, sans mauvais jeu de mots, où je pourrais porter une crinoline courte avec des gants en dentelle de cuir. Je ne l'ai pas encore dans mon agenda, j'y travaille. La fête de Pâques, je pense. La fête de Pâques, <rire> allez, Moi, je pense on ira ça. ensemble chercher les œufs. Ouais, c'est ça. Et euh, j'ai eu même eu des petits moments où j'ai attrapé le poignet de, de lui quand je disais mais... Tu vois ce qu'on est en train de voir parce que il y a des choses qui malheureusement ne se voient pas forcément à la caméra, sauf si vous regardez de très très près votre écran. Les détails de la dentelle, de cuir, de raffia, ça ce sont des choses qui te font baver quand tu les vois en vrai et euh, qui donnent envie d'aller euh, zoomer sur euh, les vidéos de Loïc. Jisoo with Delphine Arnaud, Antoine Arnaud. And finally, she gets to talk to Maria Grazia Curie. And now it's time for Jisoo to leave. <laughs> Fans are waiting. Will the rain disperse blinks? Jisoo goes to the barricade close to the tent. And she takes the time to walk along the crowd control barrier. Waving, cheering. This is not usual at a fashion show, more at a film festival, but she knows they waited for hours under the rain. She waves at us too. Coucou Jisoo! Jisoo opens her window, refaisant un dernier coucou. Voilà, this was my Dior report for Spring Summer 2023, ready to wear. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see the Jisoo action, backstage passion and fun fashion. Leave a comment about your favorite silhouette of the collection or some non-verbal cool emojis are welcome too. You can watch all my other fashion videos about Dior, about Blackpink. We even have the Dior codes explained with Natasha. Cheers, bees, mood board.